Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared very interesting problem for you and what is interesting about this problem it has a trap and even if you saw my previous videos about alpha helixes the chances that you are going to choose the correct answer is close to zero and for those people who just would choose random answer the chances is going to be one out of five or twenty percent how come you are going to learn in just a couple minutes. And here is the problem. If polypeptide chain shown below were in the alpha helix, then the alpha amino group of amino acid number five. So here is the amino acid number five. The one with R5 side chain would be in a hydrogen bond with carboxylic group of, and you have to choose one of these answers. And as I said, even if you saw my previous videos, it's probably not going to help you to solve this problem because it is easy to get into the trap. If you remember the formula is going to be I plus four I, which means that hydrogen bonds would be between amino acid. We can put any number here, for example, number one, then plus four is going to be with amino acid number five so one with five according to our problem we are talking about this amino acid and this is going to be amino end of this amino acid and this is going to be carboxylic end of this amino acid and here is where you can get in trap so we have amino acid number five we put five here plus four that means it's going to make hydrogen bond with carboxylic group of the amino acid number nine. So here's a carboxylic group and we are going to see a hydrogen bond like this. But actually this is not so. How come? How come that this formula is not working anymore? And this formula works pretty well if our question would be if the polypeptide chain shown below were in alpha helix, then the alpha carboxylic group, if we were talking about carboxylic group, then we have to add four amino acids. Five plus four is going to be nine. So we have to make a hydrogen bond between these two groups. Carboxylic group of the amino acid number five and amino group of the amino acid number nine. But because our question about amino group of the amino acid number five, which is here, then our formula is going to be slightly different. I minus four I. And hydrogen bond is going to be as follows. So it's going to be between amino group of the amino acid number five and carboxylic group of the amino acid number one. So the first formula is true when we're talking about carboxylic group of certain amino acid. And the second formula is true when we're talking about amino group of the certain amino acid. Now let's check your knowledge again with which group this amino group of the amino acid number two going to make hydrogen bond. As you see, I minus four, and this is the first amino acid. This is amino group. That means that this is beginning of the polypeptide chain. And here we see the end of alpha helix. And this amino group is not going to have a carboxylic group in the upstream region. And the same is true for this amino group here. It also doesn't have another carboxylic group up the stream. And what about this one? It also doesn't have another carboxylic group to make a hydrogen bond because this is going to be amino group of the amino acid number four. So it's just going to be free. This is going to be lone pair. This is going to be lone pair. And this is going to be a lone pair. And what you can say about this carboxyl group here, here is a carboxylic group. I plus four and 
if we say that this is the end of this alpha helix, this group just like this one doesn't have any amino group down the stream to make a hydrogen bond. This means that the first four amino groups of the first four amino acids are going to make lone pairs and the last four carboxylic groups also going to be lone pairs without hydrogen bonding. Now let's choose the correct answer. If the polypeptide chain shown below were in the alpha helix, then the alpha amino group of the amino acid number five is going to make hydrogen bond with carboxylic group of the amino acid number one. So correct answer is A. Now let's check your knowledge. Will this carboxyl group make a hydrogen bond with any amino acid? And we are going to use this formula. This carboxylic acid group of the amino acid number two plus four is going to be amino group of the amino acid number six. So this is going to be sort hydrogen bond. What about amino group of this amino acid? This is amino acid number eight. So we are going to use this formula. This is amino group of the amino acid number eight. So eight minus four is going to be four. And it's going to make hydrogen bond with carboxylic group of the amino acid number four. So here's going to be another hydrogen bond. What about this amino group? This is amino group of the amino acid number seven. Seven minus four is going to be three. And here's the amino acid number three. And here's the carboxylic group of the amino acid number three. So here's another hydrogen bond. As you see, polypeptide chain, which makes alpha helix, which has nine residues, amino acid residues may have one, two, three, four, and five hydrogen bonds. And here's a third formula that might be helpful for you if you want to find how many hydrogen bonds any alpha helix would make, then just use this formula, simple formula, n minus four. And here stands for the number of amino acid in alpha helix. For example, we have here nine amino acid and minus four, we got five hydrogen bonds. But if we will have, for example, 100 amino acid in alpha helix, then we are going to have 96 hydrogen bonds. If 20, then 16 hydrogen bonds. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.